What's poppin' y'all? This your boy Bishop, back for episode 62 of Shit That Be On My Mind. If you like what I be saying, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Today, we're gonna talk about is black men being phased out. Um, and what I mean by that, when you look at all the commercials, the movies recently, like Kareem and Coffee or Coffee and Kareem, whatever that is on Netflix. Uh, the other movie, Main Event. Uh, all the movies and commercials lately is showing white man, black woman. White man, black woman. White man, black woman. See? That is strategic. That sits in black women's subconscious, right? So I'm speaking directly to black men. So if any black men is watching this broadcast, play close attention, yo. For years, I worked in retail. And when we wanted to get rid of a product and add a new product, we phase the old product out slowly but surely so anybody who haven't worked in the grocery store before um, you see how when you come in and you see a new product you don't even think about the old product until you to to across your mind like damn they used to have this brand that brand got phased out see and they did it systematically see so that's how they doing us. They phasing us out systematically. See? They get the Eves. They get the Serena Williams. They get all these... Uh, the the, the, the uh, Meghan Markle chick that's uh, with the Prince Harry guy. You know, they get shit like this, right? These are symbolic... And then I just want to put this out here too. I'm not saying people are not in love. I'm not saying that. But you can also take something that's innocent and use it as a weapon. If that makes sense to y'all. So all these couples that I'm talking about, or you can think of, as ones I don't even know that y'all might know. I'm not saying they're not in love. But it's being used as a weapon. Just like this COVID-19 shit. It's a real virus but it's being used against us see we always they always figure out how to weaponize certain shit so this whole phasing black men out black men and black women in love together on screen they phasing that out for a reason because like they say art imitates life i'm gonna say that again art imitates life so they're going to systematically phase us out. They're trying to tell us something. They're trying to tell our black women something. Get you a white man. Black man ain't going to be around too long. That's basically what they what they saying. And as black men, we got to step our game up. And I don't mean get out here and, yo, I'm on my grind. I'm getting my money. No, we need to start cherishing our black women more. We need to start... Um, being in our young daughter's lives early and show them that black men are worthy see a lot of these black girls growing up without a daddy and they seeing all these fuck niggas you know what I mean so they see all the bullshit the niggas sag and the niggas yeah 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 so they been like yo I don't even like niggas like that so then now they see on TV some of their favorite people that they look up to. Like Eve used to be a rapper. Now she on daytime TV married to a billionaire white guy. So now you got little girls who grew up to grew up to her that's older and sitting back and saying, shit, let me leave these lame niggas alone. You know what I mean? Go get me a billionaire white boy. You know what I mean? So by us not planting the seeds in their minds early. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It starts early, man. We got to show that black love is something to uh, cherish and something that's beautiful. 
they got black love like it's dysfunctional that's why i don't like them shows love and hip-hop and all the bullshit that's out here because it shows us in a dysfunctional light why we just can't be why we always got to be beefing why we always got to be at each other's throat fuck that bitch man fuck that nigga listen to the music you know what i mean megan the stallion Cardi B, all these motherfuckers, fuck these niggas, these niggas ain't, these niggas can do, 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 then niggas, fuck this bitch, do, do. yo, where's the love at, man, where is the love, just like the Teddy Riley and Babyface battle that was on IG, what I took out of that, like a lot of people laugh, I laugh, I shared memes, this shit was funny, in the first one, how Teddy was doing the most, but when it came on the second one, and then, you know what I mean, it did numbers, and the shit was off the chain, what I took from it was the fact that, man, we need more R&B, which, which means we need more love music, man. We don't need all this bullshit, man. All this popping pills and fuck this bitch and this, that. We don't need, we need love, man. You know what I'm talking about? And they got the black man looking so raggedy out here. We either homosexuals or we hyper-masculine men. I'm going to say that one more time. We either homosexuals or we hyper masculine men now we know what a homosexual is if you don't want to know what a homosexual is that's a man who loves another man now if you don't know what hyper masculine man means that's the the thug nigga you see he he got all he got all the you know what i mean i'll kill this nigga I, i'll do this to this nigga that's a hyper masculine man he can protect some shit but he don't know how to uh love in the correct manner you understand? He too thugged out. That's a nigga that's too hyper. That's you need somebody that's in the middle. So that's what I'm saying, black men. We gotta find an even ground, man. We can't go to the homosexuals, but we also can't be no hyper masculine men either. We gotta find life is about a balance. I'ma say that one more time, man. Life is about a balance. So as black men, we gotta find a balance within ourselves. Like, I was talking with my son today. We not, we had a nice little, it's, it's nice outside today, man. You know what I'm saying? We had, a, we had a nice little talk today, man. My son, 13, man. And I'm explaining certain things to him. You know? But I show him as, 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 as heavy-handed I might be sometime in our conversations, I love on him just as much. Because I want him to be balanced. I don't want him walking around here mad at the world. My dad wasn't around or my dad didn't kick it with me or my dad didn't do this. I want him to understand it's okay to be emotion, to have emotions. It just, when your emotions run over, it's the problem. It's okay to talk about how you feel. See? When I was coming up, I didn't, I didn't have that privilege. I had my dad later on, but I didn't have that privilege, privilege early on in the crucial times that I needed him. You know? So a lot of us black men, man, we got to stop doing the bullshit, man. All that trying to hang out with the homies and we got to grow up, man. Stop playing, man, and all that thug shit. Okay, we, okay, you tough. Well, get your ass over there and get with your kids and be tough. You know what I mean? Just because you can walk around the streets and mean mug niggas and shoot niggas and pop syrup and all that dumb shit. Okay, cool. Well, go take your ass and raise some kids, though. Everything ain't about money, man. These little girls need their daddies too, just like these boys do. So we can't totally fault the white man. He just see the fraction or the or the or the crack in the foundation of the black family, and all he's doing is exposing it. So what is we gonna do, man? Honestly, ask yourself, man. I'm talking to if anybody listening that's a black man, I'm looking directly in the camera and I'm looking directly in your eyes, man. What is we gonna do, man? Is we gonna barbecue or we gonna meal do? Is we gonna let them take our black women? They didn't took everything else from us, man. We gonna take what has held us down since we been in this planet since we've been on this earth like for real we're gonna let them take our black women man our queens come on man we can do better than this man we can do better than this man you know 
So that's all I got to say, man. We just need to tighten up, man, and and just don't let them phase us out like that, man. Don't we ain't don't become the can of soup that was on the shelf that got phased out with another new can with another new label. You feel me? Let's tighten up out here, man. Peace.